In the previous video, we installed Bootstrap, that is Boost Watch, into our application. So the little change I made to the project is I added a couple of Bootstrap files. So I added um, Bootstrap JavaScript file. And because I want this feature, for example, when you click on the add book, as you can see the pop-up, that is why I'm making use of that um, JavaScript file from Bootstrap. And the next change I made was I created a, a new folder called component here. And in there I have one folder called books and inside the books I have one file called add book. All right. So for the changes I made, um, you can go to bootstrap and then copy the separate file and then paste it inside your react public where is it public index.html and then you paste it there here as that or i have commit the 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 current state of application to my github repository so if you go to my github repository i'll provide a link below if you wish and when you come to the commits i have committed um some stages for example this form template like I showed you here, inside my component, I have one book, uh, one file called add book component, and this is just this is just a form to add book. Okay, so if you want to use different framework, we can use it. Or if you want to follow me, uh, to have the same style, you can go to my GitHub repository, and then you can go to commit. I'll I'll commit my my my. my project based on the changes I made for example if I wanted to copy some um, files I'll commit it and name it for example this one that is create book form template maybe the next one will be a template for login so I'll create that so when it come to commit and then on the right hand side click on this um, code icon and it open then come to front end and inside the front end go to public in public index.html and there you can copy all the HTML from here and then copy it and then go to your index.html file from react public index and then you can paste it here all of them select or delete and then you paste okay like that and the next one is the component for the form here the same steps go to my github repository and inside the src let me go to front end and then src and then component books and add book that is this is the templates of the form so you can copy all of them and then you come here copy it all of them and then come to your create a form a file called add book and then paste it okay so this is how the state of application looks like as you can see when i click on it i have this model with a form so let me take you through how this form is structured and so here we have one div that wraps all of the form in a button and i have one div purposely for the button this is a button you see on the page so when you click on this one the whole of this one opens the form opens so what i did was that the the main thing you have to take note is how the window or the form is pop up i label it with a data target called example model and on anything that you want to display when you click on that you have to give it a, a special id of that and give it the same name as a data target value so if you make it here for example do for example here might be also what do and it work the same way save it let's come to refresh it and then open as you can see we have the same effect all right so let me change it back to the one i have it on my git repository so here we have um three fields that's a form one and we have a select that's programming religion life and culture so when you come here as you can see programming author on that category we have programming life and culture that is select one 
and the next one is the the author the author field and the next field is the title sorry the next one is the title here where is it um author and title that is here from line 60 to line 67 and the button to hit okay so as it stand right now it does nothing when you click on it nothing happens but we can close the window okay so the main purpose for this video is to dispatch an action to or create a book from our front end so first let's manage form in our components we're going to make use of use state because we're going to make use of internal state inside of our react component all right so first of all i need to bring in a hook called use state a use state is used to manage states inside the component so first of all i will need the use state i will need category from the form you saw that we need category let me make this one camo case and by default i give it an empty string and then the next one will be the title sorry title here and then let me get same thing camo case by default is also empty string and then the last one is the is the author all right so also initial state give it initial state of empty string the same camel case all right so we have our internal state here using use state so let me mount give all the forms initial value so on the select button that is on line 46 on my own let me click here and give it initial value for my form called category and a function to update or change when this data change all right so let me give it an anonymous function takes in my event and then i'll call my set category and then i'll pass in the value the user selected called value and then the next one will be the author author field line 59 the same procedure value and to be author and a function called on change when this value changes i want to trigger to update my state called set author and i'll pass in a dot target dot value and the last piece of the cake here is the um title so the same value here i give it a title here and then on change on change here will be anonymous function called set title and i will say e dot target dot value all right so now we have finished managing states so let's go back to our console let's see if we have an error and lucky to ask you don't have let me see i think the diff one don't worry about i think what is the error coming from components changing uncontrolled component yeah i think i may refresh it all right so let's continue <clears throat> so next we have to dispatch our action from our state and we are going to make use of a hook from redux react redux uh, before the current version of Redux, we used to mount or wrap our component with a React Redux hook high order function so that we can dispatch our action from here. But lucky to us, with the current version, we have what is called um, use dispatch and use selector to do that for us. So let's import quickly import that one from React Redux. React Redux and what i need here is use dispatch use dispatch is used to what dispatch an action as simple as that so here we need to create a function to dispatch when the button is clicked so let me call this one handle form submit okay so let me create my function here cons handle form submit submit here and 
I will have my since it takes in only one parameter here I can ignore my carry braces and I'll prevent the default behavior of the form prevent default and what I need is to create an instance of my dispatch function hook or hook let me call this one here use dispatch okay dispatch and I save the instance of dispatch into variable called dispatch. It can be anything here. I prefer to use dispatch, that is by convention. So next, I have to bring in my action creator. So when you come to, when you go to array docs, actions, books, and book action, as you can see, we have one action called create book action, and it needs an object because we have passed in the title, the category, and an author. So it's an object pass into our endpoint here and so I'll make a request to our back end to give us a response called payload and we send this payload to a reducer all right so let's come back to book and import create book action let me see I have the auto import correctly for me here so inside my handle form here I need to pass in an object but here we have um, a single let me say a, a a unit of eight data so i want to combine all these pieces of state together to make an object so that i can pass into my um create action um create action create book action sorry so let me call an instant of my dispatch here and then pass in create book action here it needs an object i can pass in an object like this and say category title and then the author okay this one will work or you can make an object here called const data and then you will say title here i want to have i want to have my own to have my function to have a minimal code so author and then the category okay for my states so instead of this one i can pass in my object here any of this will work so now that we have it let's head over to our form and pass in the function called on submit and then on submit we will call the handle form submit so we are done so now let's go over to our application and start dispatch our first action so here let me refresh it one more time and then I'm going to dispatch an action from here so before that let me open the my console here of my um, Redux extension to here. So let me put it here so that we can see the action correctly when it's passing to us. It's done right now. Let me refresh it. I don't need to have this user login like that because it will be in the top part of the application. So let's refresh it and let's see what we have. As you can see, we have book that is the first reducer. When you head over to our reducers, sorry guys for moving up and down so when it come to store we have our reducer called book creative reducer and this one has nothing when you go to reduces as you can see it's an empty object when you don't this when you have this dispatch in any action the default is zero empty so when you pass it here for example 20 here 20 will be let me say um total i just want to give it total of 20 all right initial state of 20 when you go back to our redox dev2 i think i have to refresh it refresh again and you can see the initial state of what 120 a 20 as you can see so let's head over to our redox sorry reducer and then delete the initial one from here so let's dispatch our first action so let me click on that programming let me select religion author we Emma title react and hit create. Let's go over to our dev2 here and something happened called failed. So what is wrong? All right, so let's check. Because sorry, I made a mistake. Um, when I was restarting the server, the port um, was used, so I changed the port to 8000. Um, but when I proxy it for my React application, I made it of 5,000. 
so it cannot proxy to the back end to kind of proxy from my front front end to my back end so i have to change it back to 5000 so let me head over to my back end and then server change it back to 5000 because inside my front end folder my package json file i make use of 5000 here so you cannot proxy that so now that we have fixed it let me refresh it again one more time and then this time around i think you'll be good to go so let me select live here this time around emma here title react and then hit enter let me look at my dev2 as you can see it had given me book validation error um title is required it means that the title because of the validation i made from from my back end title field it means i didn't pass in the title here to create a book here so let's fix that so let's head over to our code called create book here let's see what is wrong okay i think the error will be coming from set title here is there and let me scroll down the first one is the select okay category is there and author is there and the title here is also oh sorry as you can see the value i make it var so it should be value i guess you guys saw it so now that we have fixed it let's head over to refresh again and then this time around we'll be happy to go so let me select live here emma here react create head over to our dev2 now we have our book created nicely for us okay guys this is how we create a um, book from our front end using react we dispatch an action to create it so let's head over to our compass and check if the one we created has been added so where's the book keeping up here books as you can see we have it there nicely so to recap what we did in this video is to take a value from a form and pass that value to our action creator and our action creator here will dispatch will send this data to our um where is our action our action here and this action here needs a data here called an object so this function accept that from the front end and pass to our um, request handler here when it pass it here it will then send the request to our back end so under our controllers where is my controllers Wow, I can see my controllers inside my. Uh, where has it gone? Wow, this is weird. <laughs> Back end route book route. Oh, sorry, that is a book route. So that I forgot. I thought I make use of MVZ pattern. Okay, so here, as you can see. Then when it sent when the action creator called it will send back the data to this endpoint. This is our creator book, and then it will pass the whole request from the body to our book model, and our book model will create and send back our book to us as that. So in the next video, we will start fetching the data of the book and then place it inside our project. Thanks.